Hello and welcome. I'm your professor, Daniel Azim Pacheta, your online professor for this qu very quick summer semester. I'm very happy you're taking this course and I look forward to getting to know you better as much as we can through the online medium and its limitations, but also the opportunities that it provides. A little bit about myself. I'm a professor of American religions with a specialty on Islam in America. My dissertation I just finished at UC Riverside is on young adult Muslim Americans on university campuses and how they develop their religious identities and how they articulate it. My specialty is not in Native American religions, although it was Native American religions which got me interested in studying religion oh, over 20 years ago. And I've kept a keen interest and continue to learn more and more about it. And each time I teach this course, it allows me more opportunity to learn more about Native American religions as well. So I look forward to learning with you, as well as helping provide a format for you to learn more about Native American religions or life ways we'll often be calling it in this course. I'm from Southern California. Um, I went to San Diego State for my undergraduate in child development. I s switched gears a little bit and studied religious studies at University of Iowa for my master's degree and then returned to my native Southern California and went to UC Riverside and have been there in my last six years for the most part and just completed my PhD in religious studies there this past June. The Let me give you an introduction to this course. I'm not going to read through with you the course objectives for Native American religions. You can look at those details one by one on your own. I've uploaded on the BB Learn Web, web portal for our course this syllabus that you can download. But let me just say that I hope this provides opportunity for you to understand deeper and get past some of the very big stereotypes we have about Native American religions and give you some more precision about a number of individual tribes or First Nations, how they articulate, how they understand, what rituals they practice, what are their ceremonies, what are some underlying myths and beliefs as well with these a number of groups that we'll look at. I hope this course gives you a better appreciation for a number, number of Native American religions. I also, um, you shouldn't be shy about critiquing some problematic or downsides in, in your estimation of Native American religions. Um, I, I think appreciation will be easy to find, but don't don't be shy. The, the Native American religions, like all religions, have their upsides and downsides, and so um, try to uh, apply ethical valuations um, will be will and can be in order, but it's good to use um, a very close empathetic understanding to see the world view through the eyes of the practitioner of these individual religions as much as possible before we apply these more critical evaluations of what's going on. Okay. So required books you'll be able to read through there. Hopefully you already have bought these books through the Northern Arizona University uh, bookstore or online. You can usually get com some big discounts online on these books. If you haven't gotten opportunity to get them yet, I do strongly recommend doing overnight shipping um, today or as soon as possible. They, you'll be, you will have opportunity to do all the readings that are required for, for Tuesday and July 7th um, for your submissions there, but very soon thereafter you're going to be very reliant on having copies of these books um, to be able to 
complete all those. I'm. It's not in the top of my mind which books, which readings you need immediately. It's a good idea to look through this syllabus and, and see if you can get away with ordering one overnight and not others and, and you'll be okay if it comes in, say, next week instead of by Wednesday or Thursday. So assignments and grading. The most important thing you can do to do well in this class and hopefully learn more is to do as much as the readings as possible. Keep in mind that this course goes by very quickly. It's 15 week course crunched into the four weeks or so we'll be together. So the way I've organized it is Monday through Thursday, each of those days, you'll have something due except for this week, which I give you until Tuesday to submit. However, it's um, it's like two class, if there's two class meetings a week during our regular 15 week course, um, each of those two days have been crunched into one day for this course. So, for example, Wednesday, it'll be around 60 pages that you'll have to read, and reading will be the primary format, although I will be give, offering some lectures. Sometimes it'll just be PowerPoint or a Microsoft Word document you can read through to supplement your understanding. Other times I'll provide a short, brief lecture on the material as I'm doing now. I'm, I'm experimenting with EasyVid, and um, if it's a little bit weird and I seem not completely comfortable with the technology yet is, is because I'm just learning it myself right now. Hopefully it's working out though, okay. So you'll find that not all of you will have time or want, want to make time to do the number of hours to read closely all of the readings I've assigned and to watch all the videos I, I assign. You, some of you will do different skimming, um, choose different discussion questions you want to focus upon for that day and, and become a specialist on those questions exclus exclusively and, and just read for those questions. Um, but the more you read carefully and thoughtfully and completely, the more you'll get out of this course and correspondingly probably the better you'll do in the course. So it might be worth your while to spend the three to five hours per day you'll probably need to complete those readings carefully. Daily critical discussion is the largest element as, as far as the percentage of your grade. So that's 45% of your grade. The combined quizzes and exams, as you'll see on the syllabus, are only worth a combined 40% of your grade. So um, don't think you can just take the quizzes and tests and do fine on those and and pass the class or do well in the class. Engaging on a daily basis with the readings, engaging with your peers, and posting on the discussion boards each day is, is a very straightforward um, and helpful way to yourself and to others to do well in this course as well as enhance your learning. So there's going to be 15 entries altogether on the discussion board and each one of them I will give you up to three points and so that's how you'll get 45% of, of your grade. If you if I see that you're doing an honest effort on, on that and have read closely the relevant materials to answer those that question um, as well as respond to your peers at least twice then you'll most likely get the full three points. So how that works is one at least one of your posts should be a pretty detailed complete paragraph detailing how you would answer that question or a key term that I might post for you. Um, two of your other entries should should be responses to your peers and those can be shorter just a few sentences perhaps um, but engaging meaningfully with what one of your peers has already answered about that key term or question, um, critiquing the aspect of their answer, supplementing their understanding with what you found out, um, 
giving a meaningful comment on what what they found out of, what they found out about these are different ways you can complete the three total discussion entries for each day okay so quizzes and tests you'll have two quizzes for lack of a better word it'll be on the beginning of the second week and the and the end of the third week will be and th those are going to be short they're going to be timed you'll take them online they're open note um, but because they're timed you'll definitely want to study the different um, study guides I'll post on that use what your peers have posted and what yourself has posted on the previous discussion boards to give you more familiarity with the key concepts and ideas we've looked at for that that unit of, of materials um, so that you can do well on that and you don't get too s scattered and fall behind time on, on completing the, th those quizzes. So the midterm and final exams on the end of the second week you'll take your midterm on the um, after the fourth week b on by July excuse me August 4th you'll take your final exam and those those will be about twice as long as the quizzes about 20 questions or so those will also be timed um, I, I give you usually over 40 minutes to do to complete those but once again um, be ready make sure you've studied don't just try to wing it and feel you're going to do well there uh, they're not supremely difficult quizzes and exams um, but they're not easy as well you will want to have studied um, be familiar with all the all the materials if you want to go in and try to get an A on those quizzes and exams I'm also sending one and a lot excuse me analytical research essay and that will be oh about four to seven pages I have a list of different concepts and topics you can explore look look through there if you have something different that you'd like to look at in depth related to Native American religions you're very welcome to do so you're going to post um, I believe by July 17th what your topic is as well as what your scholarly sources are they do need to you do need to have at least three peer-reviewed scholarly sources um, either journal articles or uh, university published books ch chapters of, of books often edited volumes can work such as the Sullivan textbook that we have which is an edited volume um, you can use resources from that have been assigned required textbooks but um, at, at least two of your scholarly sources should be other ones that you have found outside of the class so look through that list and if you don't like any of those kinds of topics propose something you're interested in and I'm happy and want you to explore something that something in depth that you you're really interested in and meet, meets and matches your curiosities so directions for weekly forums I've already spoken about most of those things something I can add is to make sure you use courteous language on all online forums avoid coarse language uh, avoid put downs um, nonetheless you're happy to respect you're welcome to uh, respectfully disagree with your peers on the um, on the discussion forum um, and I want you to work together try to synthesize try to put together ideas to get a more meaningful and complete understanding of the different questions concepts and, and terms we'll be looking at during the course of these four weeks it's a good idea as well once you've completed that the discussion board to, to spend a few minutes perhaps in the morning the next day or when you have time the next day to read through how your peers have look have looked at questions that you perhaps didn't
focus upon for your own discussion entries, um, but get more familiar with that question, how it might be answered well, by looking at how your peers have answered your... Um, I'm largely a facilitator. Much of the teaching of this course will be done by yourselves, teaching each other, although I will be facilitating and looking at it at a daily basis how you answer the, the terms and concepts and if I see some real lack of understanding or some real confusions I'll do my best to consistently intervene um, and provide a meaningful understanding of, of that idea. I provided for your convenience the important dates besides the Monday through Thursday that your discussion entries are due um, so take a look at the, that use any sort of calendar system um, that helps you to make sure you don't forget to take the quizzes, turn in the research essay at the very, at almost the very end. Um, so Monday, uh, by Tuesday morning, uh, we, and during week two, your first quiz will be taken. After that, it'll be mostly Friday, so your mid midterm will be, you have to take by Friday the 17th. Your quiz two will be taken by Friday the 24th, and then your final exam you'll have until August 4th to take that. Moved a little ahead of myself, let's see. Drop policy. So make sure you're participating consistently from the very beginning and you're not missing out on those those big points that the discussion entries are worth. If I find what I said, I think if you've already missed two or more discussion entries by the end of, of Monday the 13th, I will take it upon myself to drop you because it's not, it's a disservice to you and a disservice to your peers for you to continue when you've already missed so much in the course. So I won't take, um, look through the syllabus with you day by day of, of what we'll be looking at. Um, look at that in more detail your, yourself going through the different topics. Um, I've carefully constructed the syllabus to give you curriculum, give you content that gives you a good overview of different themes, motifs, issues, and studying Native American religions, issues such as w what is authentic, what is traditional, um, what are the implications of, of change and contemporary developments in Native American religions. And we'll look at closely at a number of First Nations and how they've constructed um, according to different f approaches, how we can understand their religions, as well as um, specific topics and the myths, comparative myths and rituals and shamanism, such as medicine men and medicine women in the various groups that we'll be looking at. Um, probably the Lakota or Sioux. One has the biggest background with if one doesn't come from a First Nation tribe themselves, right? And what through through the movies, it's the Lakota Sioux are the group that are are given the most attention. Whoever being from, or at least being in Flagstaff, or um, if you are in at Flagstaff at, at this time. Um, some of you are probably extension students elsewhere, but um, of course the, there's other groups that are will be closer to home in, in Flagstaff in, in the Southwest. Once again, I look forward to working with you. Um, take a look at what's due by Tuesday. I want, want you, for example, to not just post in the first discussion forums, but also have self-introductions in another forum that, that will be there for you to introduce yourselves to your peers if you want to provide a photo you're more than welcome to do so but don't feel you're obliged to do so um, but those give it um, give us a chance to to meet each other a little bit more as the online system um, allows so That's all I'm thinking of to talk about at the moment. If I 
think of anything else, I will be sure to, to make a posting of it, and um, I look forward to working with you in this course.